A big story now, a deadly crash in the city of Chino. A Corvette hit a median, flew off the road, and plunged into a pool. Three people were inside that car. Two of them died, and the homeowner whose pool the Corvette landed in says he's grateful his grandkids were not there when the car came crashing through. Mm -hmm. Neighbors say the curve along Schaefer Avenue near Alicia Way is dangerous. And that's where KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live for us. Jeff. Juan and Susie, witnesses say that the Corvette was speeding in this direction when it struck. Sorry. <clears throat> Art Guerrero choked back tears, grateful his family wasn't in his backyard. And I heard it loud. I don't know if it was screeching or what, but then I heard a bang. And when a convertible Corvette landed in his pool, witnesses say the car had been speeding down Schaefer Avenue when it struck a curb at the corner of East End in Chino just after 2 this morning. All three people were thrown from the car as it flew through the air. It was right here. And I was talking to her and, and I go, I heard somebody moaning and groaning over here. A 21-year-old woman was killed instantly, and a 27-year-old man died at the hospital. Guerrero found the third victim, a 23-year-old woman, near his pool as police showed up. The officer was talking to her, stay awake, stay awake, and trying to keep her up. It's unclear who was driving and whether anyone was using the seatbelts in the two-seater. Neighbors around this bend say it's common to hear tires screeching and cars striking the curbs in both directions. I do walks all, every day and I walk. I'm not walking on this corner anymore around this street because there is so much incoming traffic. And I'm afraid that somebody's going to jump in the sidewalk and run me over. A tow truck hoisted the wreckage over Art Guerrero's wall. Around the same time, he and his wife had planned to do some babysitting. I'm just glad my kids weren't here, my, my grandkids. And investigators have not released the names of the two people who perished. At this point, uh, the third person is still hospitalized. We're live in Chino, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News. Jeff, thank you.